Hello, you guys. I'm out here in my backyard in Spartanburg, South Carolina. It is just about one o'clock in the morning. And other than the car just happening to drive by right at this very moment, I wanted you to hear what it sounds like, the nature sounds at night. I think it's pretty cool. I know not everybody gets what you're about to hear uh, where you live, but I wanted you to hear all of the symphony of beautiful sounds that happen at night. So this is, I'm in my backyard, Parkman. And I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there is just a beautiful symphony of just nature sounds. And I'm literally standing barefoot in the ground in my backyard in Spartanburg, South Carolina. I'm gonna be quiet for about 20 seconds so you can hear. See, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a miracle. I, I love just, I, I feel like we've gotten away from things that are natural, that give us calm, give us peace. Everybody's like, oh, do you have a machine that will put you in a meditative state? Do you have this or that? And I think this sound right here is so relaxing and it's the way I think it was intended, so. Just wanted you guys to get a glimpse of this so that you could uh, see what I get to enjoy. Somebody asked, why am I up so late? I have actually been to bed already. Uh, I'm recovering from traveling. And so I went to bed pretty early. I know I already go to bed pretty early, but I think around 5.30 I went to bed and woke up at 10.30. And so... I will probably go back to bed in a few hours, but while I'm awake doing some work and I decided to come out here and ground with my bare feet in my backyard while listening to these beautiful nature sounds. If you've never been in a place where you hear this kind of sound, I highly encourage you try to find some place where you can get in nature now this is what I hear in Spartanburg, South Carolina. I know other places I've been, they have different sounds. I remember the first time I went to Australia, that was the thing I noticed was there was different creature sounds. And I think we devalue what these creature sounds do for our human soul. And it's something that I try to always connect with locally. We always talk about locally sourcing our food I think we need to locally source our meditative practices, our relaxation techniques, and part of that local sourcing is allowing yourself to be exposed to these animal sounds and these creature sounds. Now, not everybody's up in the middle of the night like Jimmy Moore is, but when in Rome you do Roman things, when you're up in the middle of the night, you take advantage of this kind of thing. So yes, just wanted you to hear it one last time. All these peaceful, peaceful creature sounds. I'm very fortunate because I live right next to a wooded area over this direction. And it's heavily wooded, which means a lot of creatures are in there. And the guy that owns the property behind me has lots of trees, which then extend over. I know you can't see any of those, but I'm just panning so you can uh, get the picture here. But the point is you get lots of these creature noises and it's just beautiful to listen to. It's part of the, the fun part of living in the South. And I'm not even in the country. I'm in the main part of the town I'm in. And yet you can still get exposed to this. Those of you that live in the country, you're laughing at me right now because you're like, yeah, dude, we get this all the time. But I think a lot of city dwellers don't get this kind of natural relaxation that comes from listening to, to animal and creature sounds at night. So if you've never done this before, 
I highly encourage you go outside in the wee hours of the morning, somewhere between midnight and six, and you will get to hear all of these amazing sounds just like you're hearing right now in my backyard in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Okay, you guys, just wanted you to hear this. And I'm going to let you get back to what you were doing. But this is one of my routines that I just love, love, love. We'll talk to you again soon.